Hey guys, today I have this uh, Ford Territory 2010 uh, engine cranks, uh, but uh, doesn't start. So let's have a look first. Okay, uh, see what's happening with the engine. Okay, so I noticed that fuel pump is not running, so that's why I checked the fuel pump relay. This is the fuel pump relay on this car inside the engine fuse box. I removed and checked the relay. It's all good. There's nothing wrong with the relay itself. But uh, on this car, between the fuel pump relay and fuel pump itself, we have another component, which is fuel cutoff switch or inertia switch. So I need to locate and uh, check that one as well. Maybe the problem is from the fuel cutoff switch. So I will show you guys how to find it in the wind diagram and how to locate the component and how to check it. For checking the fuel pump relay, if your case is any is on the fuel pump relay, uh, I, I put another link in the description for uh, checking and inspecting the relays. Uh, so you can find the link down there because we made another video for checking the relays. Let's go for checking the wind diagram before starting to test the fuel cutoff switch. Okay, before uh, locating the fuel cutoff switch on the car let's have a look at the wind diagram first so this is my fuel pump relay as i told you i already checked the fuel pump relay there is nothing wrong with it so this is the fuel pump relay anyway and if you check this side you see fuel pump fuse is here so this fuel pump relay and fuel pump fuse they are both located inside the engine fuse box so uh battery positive will be provided through this fuse to my fuel pump relay and anytime engine control module activates this fuel pump when you crank the engine uh, this relay will close the switch and battery positive can travel all the way from this wire to down there which is going to go all the way to inertia switch or fuel cutoff switch so sometimes we call it inertia switch sometimes fuel cutoff switch if you see the inertia switch we have three pins we have three pins one red wire another pink one and one more pink here so this pink wire uh, which is connected to pin number seven eight seven a this one is coming from the fuel pump relay and the other seven eight seven b pink wire this one uh, actually goes to the fuel pump itself to provide the battery positive to the fuel pump so if inertia switch or fuel cutoff switch is okay it should bridge this uh, 787A to 787B. Okay, so we need to look for uh, these two pink uh, wires on the, wi on the wiring. So anytime you crank the engine, you should have the battery positive here and obviously in the output. This is the input, this is the output of the inertia switch. <laughs> and if you check the connector, because the connector code for this car for Territory 2010, is C384, this is a connector code, and I already found it for you guys in the wind diagram. This is connector C384, we have three pins. So, because connector codes are different, not actually, they are not in the sequence, so that you need to find the connector details to actually to make sure which one is which. So I, ha I have the red one here, uh, pink one uh, 787B, which is going to the fuel pump it's on the middle and 787 787a uh, it's on the side and 787a is on the side which goes actually which comes from the fuel pump relay let's uh, actually locate the fuel cutoff switch first and uh, remove the uh, let's remove the fuel cutoff switch and then we uh, verify the, these wires and this connector on the fuel cutoff switch. And I'm gonna tell you <coughs> what you can do on the wiring. Okay, this is my uh, fuel cutoff switch down here on the passenger side. So it's got a connector with three pins, like what I had in the wind diagram. And it's got two mounting bolts over there so i'm gonna remove the fuel cutoff switch to show you guys how to check the fuel cutoff switch itself and obviously we do something for the volume side as well 
to see how we can check it or in case of emergency how to bypass the fuel cutoff switch okay i do have my fuel cutoff switch here i remove this two first one and this is the second one okay and i do have my fuel cutoff switch removed okay i already removed the fuel cutoff switch i haven't uh, disconnected the connector yet because i wanted to show you something uh, as you see between these three pins because obviously we have three wires right here between these three pins these two pink wires are really important so actually the right the the one on the left this one uh, is coming from the fuel pump relay so anytime that you crank the engine you should have the battery positive here if you want to test it you should have the battery positive here and the one on the middle this one is actually taking the battery positive uh, from the fuel cutoff switch to the fuel pump okay so anytime if the fuel cutoff switch is okay is working properly uh, when you crank the engine power comes from the here it goes to the fuel cutoff switch and comes back from the middle one to go to the fuel pump okay so if something goes wrong with the fuel cutoff switch i'm gonna remove the fuel cutoff switch right now and show you how to test it uh, but if something goes wrong with the fuel cutoff switch what you can do you can bypass it okay for bypassing the fuel cutoff switch you need to bypass you need to bridge these two together it means you need to bridge these two pins together okay these two pins you need to bridge these two pink wires together okay so if I show you something here, this is the wiring diagram, this is the connector details, okay? So if you remember, on the one on the right, uh, 787A with pink wire is coming from the fuel pump relay, and 787B again with the pink wire is going to go toward the fuel pump itself. So these two, okay? So what I see on the uh, connector instruction, this two actually is on the connector side, but if I if I want to uh, check the fuel cutoff switch itself, I need to I need to take care that this is a connector. Okay, so for checking the for checking these two on the fuel cutoff switch itself on the components, I need to look for. The other side so this one on the component is gonna be 787a and this one is 787b because the connector is gonna be like this and I'm looking for these two wires so I can check the battery positive on here when I crank uh, if I have the battery pro battery positive provided on here it means the uh, fuel pump relay is okay and the wiring from the fuel pump relay all the way to here is okay but if I don't have the output, it could be from this one. And if I check the pins location, these two on the left, this is 787A, this is 787B. So these two should be connected together if fuel cutoff switch is working properly. Okay, let's have a look at the fuel cutoff switch and how we can test it. Okay, I got the fuel cutoff switch here and uh, i want to check it as i told you these two pins on the left uh, they should have the continuity if uh, fuel cutoff switch is uh, working properly and i have this one on the wind diagram as well as you see these two should be normally connected to each other if fuel cutoff switch is okay and uh, there is nothing wrong with it okay so how can i check it I grab the multimeter, put it on the continuity function. Okay. First of all, I check if multimeter here works properly. And this is what I do. I check the continuity between, uh, I try to zoom it. 
a bit more so you guys see what's going on. So one problem here. So the other prop should be connected on the other pin. See? I should have continuity right now, but I don't have anything. See, my multimeter doesn't measure anything either. So this is my multimeter. I connect one pin right now and the other one. I don't get anything. So what does that mean? It means my inertia switch doesn't bridge the power from uh, this pink wire, 787A to 787B. So what happens normally for the inertia switch, because it does, when we say inertia switch, if you do any hard braking or in case of accident, this inertia switch is responsible to cut the power. So sometimes even if you haven't had any accident, on some hard braking, this one is gonna, there's a switch in there. This switch is gonna jump up and it will open the circuit. So you won't have continuity anymore between those two pins. Obviously your fuel pump is not gonna get any battery positive as well and is not gonna run. So how can we uh, fix it? Uh, the first and quick one is just to reset it. Just try to reset the fuel cutoff switch. And for reset, you have a button up here. You need to just push it down all the way to push the internal switch down. And then you need to test it again if you have the continuity. So then you need to make sure if the problem was just from the fuse, if, uh, if the problem was just from the switch or it has the internal failure. See, all good. So now, after resetting the fuel cutoff switch, I do have the continuity. So if you do the same thing, if you reset the fuel cutoff switch and you still don't have continuity between those two pins, it means you have to replace the fuel cutoff switch. But if something happens like my case, if I do have the continuity, the problem was just uh, that switch, which was actually uh jumped up because of uh the hard braking so it made the open circuit for me and I just so i just needed to reset it after resetting everything is uh okay and i can put this one back on the car so this is how you can uh check the fuel cutoff switch but obviously if any time in case of emergency if you have this one faulty or you don't have anything if you try to reset it you see it doesn't work in case of emergency you can't just bridge these two pins together so you can just disconnect the connector on the fuel cutoff switch and uh, just use a piece of wire or something to bridge these two pins together on the connector side uh, do you remember the connector with two pink wires you need to bridge those two pins together so everything will be uh, actually working properly until you reach to somewhere to uh, buy a brand new fuel, fuel cutoff switch and put it on the car. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, video. Apparently in my case, uh, I don't need to replace the fuel cutoff switch. I just needed to reset it. But the reason that I removed it uh, from the car because I wanted to show you how to diagnose the fuel cutoff switch. Uh, thank you for watching.